So yeah, I made a Metroidvania game. So let's see how I actually made this thing. Okay, so the first thing I did was to make a new Unity project, and then I stole this character sprite off the internet because I don't know how to actually draw pixel art. And then I also stole this character controller off the internet because I'm lazy and I don't want to code up a good controller. The character controller had some very nice features such as the double jump and the dash. I'm planning to make this game have some pretty crazy movement, so I'll add other abilities in the future. And then I added combat, so you can kill bad guys, which is kinda cool. But I added health to make sure that they can kill you too. And then I also stole this tile set off the internet, because why not? And then I began work on the first area. I added some details and these spikes, which I was too lazy to respawn to the nearest safe place, so I just made them kill you instantly. And then I tried to program this little slime enemy, but uh, I think I set his speed a bit too high. After that he wanted to twerk on me, and also disobey the laws of gravity, which is very disrespectful. After that he was still trying to disobey gravity, Newton would be furious if he saw this. I realized it would be a pretty cool enemy if he could fly, so I just left him there. He's gonna be the first enemy of the game. And then I created rocks, because rocks are cool. You can break this specific rock to progress to the next area of the game. I grabbed a different tile set and got work on the general shapes. Not worrying too much about tiny details, just getting the rocks and the shapes down. Then I added more details. Little decoration. These happy little rocks in total. And then I also added parallax to the game. Now, if you have a baby brain and don't know what parallax is, it's pretty much just moving the background and foreground at different rates. Like the thing you see in a car. So I made the camera 3D and then I moved the background to a different Z layer. And that's how I added parallax. And I also added backflips because why not? Also, if you jump and backflip at the same time, you go way higher. And then I tried to make a boss for this area. I got the sprites in and animated her. And then I wrote a quick script, except it, except that it wasn't quick. And then she is not bound by any gravitational limitations. I swear to god, man, why do they always want to disrespect Newton and his laws? And then she was bound by gravity, but... And then after that, I got her working as a decent boss. And then I added the main menu because I've not had one for way too long. And the main menu actually allows you to get into the game. And that is where this devlog ends. So if you want to see me develop more for this game, then please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out for a small channel like mine. Every one of you counts, so if you would be so kind, please subscribe. So yeah, bye.